to show you how to properly roll the t-shirt for the t-shirt gun and also how to place it in. Um, so this roll works for both long sleeve and short sleeve t-shirts. So you begin by finding the creases and you fold it in half so that the sleeves are together. Next, you fold the sleeves in and then roll it in half. So, then once in half, fold it in half horizontally. So you have a nice straight line. And then you simply roll. Try to make it as compact as possible. This was a rough one because the sleeves are a little bit long. Um, and then you take this and you wrap it in a rubber band once or twice just so that it stays compact. And then take it and you put it straight into the t-shirt gun. And that's how you make the t-shirt gun go. Alright, so real quickly here I'm going to show you how to fill up your um, air tank, fill up your tank from your air tank compressor. The first thing you need to do is take your Schrader valve, which looks something like that, your Schrader fill valve actually. And you're going to want to hook up the quick neck from that onto your air tank compressor. So your compressor might look a little bit different, but hopefully it looks something like that. And then what you're going to want to do is take your Schrader fill valve from this one and fill up the um, Schrader valve on the tank. That looks something kind of like a, uh, a bike valve would. So all you have to do is push the uh, Schrader fill valve onto the Schrader valve, like so. And you can actually hear it filling, and you can watch the... Um, the pressure gauge increases as you go. You need to apply a good bit of pressure. If you don't feel it straight on, you might hear a sound kind of like that. You don't want to hear that sound. That means it's leaking. So you just need to do that, press pressure, and make sure, you, make sure it sounds like it's uh, filling and make sure the pressure gauge is increasing. And you're probably going to want to fill your pressure gauge up to about 110 PSI. I won't do that right now, but you get the general idea. Now once you have that, you're going to want to take your air tank and your accordion tubing and hook it up to your t-shirt gun. So again, you use a quick connect, it's pretty easy to do. All you have to do is pull back the little piece right there and press it over the quick connect on the t-shirt gun. That's about all. Also, you're going to want to open your, uh, your valve on your um, tank, which you do just by turning this little red piece to the left a little ways, just about like that. Once you've done that, you will have filled up your air tank, and you will have connected your t-shirt gun, and you'll be ready to shoot. Okay, I'm going to show you how to actually fire the t-shirt gun. Um, so as you see, we already loaded the roll into the cannon. Um, so as you showed you in the last video, we filled up our air tank, and you want to make sure that this is open. So just turn it to the left a little bit. Um, so now we're going to take this ball valve, which is actually our safety, and usually it should be in a horizontal position, and you're going to move it to a vertical, and that means it's not in safety mode anymore, it's ready to fire. Um, so now, this is a regulator, so it will not let the pressure build up past 55 PSI. Um, it will actually let air out in order to regulate that pressure. So it's all safe, it's good to go. So we're gonna open this, we're gonna load it until the pressure stops, and we're gonna stop, and we're gonna fire. Okay, so in the last video we showed you how to load and fire the t-shirt gun. Now we're going to show you a more practical use of successive launches. Um, so for this you're going to want two people. Um, you're going to want one person to load and one person to fire. It's a lot safer that way and you won't damage the gun and they sort of. Um, so you'll begin with loading the t-shirt. It's already one in there. It's already one in here. Um, and then for successive shots you want to leave the safety off. So you're going to move the safety switch into a vertical position. Um, and then like regularly firing you're going to load until the pressure stops and then you're going to fire. Try to get in an arc manner. Um, that was not arc, but we're going to lose. Um, then you're going to load another one. And you're going to want to make these as quick as possible. Um, that way you get as many shots as you need. Um, so once again, reload and fire. That's how you do it. So then, once you're done, you want to put the safety switch back on, 
and then disconnect the tissue gum. Alright, so I'm just going to show you real quick some general maintenance and care for your t-shirt gun as well as how to disassemble it after you're done using it. So first thing you want to do after you take your t-shirt gun off is you want to disassemble or you want to take the cord off from the gun itself. And before you do this, you want to make sure there's no more pressure in the gun. So just in case, you might want to point the gun away from something, away from anybody and pull the trigger just to make sure there's no leftover pressure in there. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and take off the quick connects um, from the gun. So do that once again. All you do is pull down and let go of it. Once you're done with that, your t-shirt gun can pretty much be stored anywhere. Uh, of course, you probably don't want to leave a t-shirt in the barrel just in case um, for later on. And your gun's pretty much ready to go. As far as the tape goes, you're also going to want to take the uh, accordion cord off from the tape itself. Now, when you do that, you need to make sure that you've um, tighten this valve all the way to the right. Otherwise, when you take the accordion cord off, you'll lose all your pressure out of the tank. Um, also, if there is some pressure left in the tank, that's okay, it's not a big deal. Um, it's not going to explode or anything, so you should be fine, so don't worry about that. And finally, all you do is take off your quick enough, and um, your tank's ready to go, and you can just, once again, store that wherever. Um, and that's pretty much general uh, care and maintenance and storage for your t-shirt gun and air tank.